Okay, so guess what? There's a strike happening today. Today, uh, uh, Sanders and Ocasio-Cortez joined the McDonald's workers to demand $15 minimum wage. Workers at McDonald's stores in 15 cities, including Los Angeles, Chicago, Kansas City, and Detroit, organized Walkout Wednesday with the National Advocacy Group called Fight for 15. In addition to the strike, public actions are taking place in dozens of cities and workers and supporters are rallying outside of McDonald's corporate headquarters in Chicago ahead of the company's annual shareholders meeting. So that's a good idea. A spokesperson for McDonald's told Business Insider Tuesday that, get this, are you ready for this, Ron? It's the responsibility of the federal and local government to set minimum wage. That's so this is a capitalist telling you, I don't know what to pay my workers. The government is supposed to ha. tell me. Wow. Isn't it interesting that the capitalist wants the government to set his wages? I find that uh, I find that uh, double CK. Uh, yeah, it's pretty shameless. So he so that's just say it. That's his rebuke to the people asking for a decent a living wage is like, hey, tell the government to give it to you. That's what they're saying. Tell the yeah. government to pass a law to make us pay you a living wage. Yeah, that's I'm, what, I'm not gonna treat you with dignity unless I have to by law. And guess how much profit they made? They made five billion dollars in profit. Not five billion dollars. Five billion after everybody was paid and all the bills were paid and all the de- five billion dollars in profit. No employer needs to wait for Congress to raise the minimum wage to pay fairly. No, no and in the CEO, you know, the CEOs of McDonald's, I mean, it, it's like hundreds and hundreds to one. Right. The CEO to worker pay like, like it's in it's in the hundreds. They're being McDouchebags is what they're being. <laughs> tomorrow right. will be tomorrow is the shareholders meeting where a bunch of millionaires come together to discuss how they distribute their profit. Yeah. Yeah. But we're here to let you know that McDonald's, we are your profit. We are the ones who make the burgers, make the fries and everything's inside the store. So it's not right that we get paid so little. And I agree. Why should McDonald's make $5 billion in profits and the people who generate that profit don't get to share in it? That's ridiculous. They should have a living wage. Why should the managers and the owners and the shareholders and the investors of McDonald's get to make a living wage, but the people who generate that, that money, all those, they don't get to have a living wage? That doesn't make sense. Uh, AOC who, remember, refused to use her leverage for the $15 minimum wage in the COVID bill. She refused to use her leverage to get a vote for Medicare for All. She refused to vote as a block with the Justice Democrats to get anything. Here's what she said. She said this yesterday. It is because you are out there mobilizing that we can point to that organizing and say, this is how bad the people want it. Oh, So she's saying because that the fight for 15 people are striking today that now she can finally push for $15 minimum wage. She was waiting for them to go and do a strike so that she could. This is what she's saying. Listen to the whole thing. It It is because you are out there mobilizing that we can point to that organizing and say, this is how bad the people want it. This is what they are in fact demanding. And because you are doing the work that we can point to, it allows us to create the political pressure necessary to keep pushing. Because you all are organizing, they can't ignore, because you all are organizing on the outside, they can't ignore us on the inside. Uh, By the way, Fight for 15 has been organizing for eight fucking years. So her to pretend like this is the first time they ever did. Now we can push. Guess what? They This is from February, right before you voted on the COVID bill and you didn't get the $15 minimum wage for people. This is, this is that they were striking then. Look what the date is. February 15th. Fast food workers to strike and fight for $15 minimum wage as lawmakers battle over minimum wage hike. 
Why didn't you do something then, AOC? We all know why, because she's full of shit. Work. This is from February 15th. That's before the COVID relief bill passed. They were doing exactly what they're doing now. They were doing then. And AOC is pretending like this just started today. Oh, good. You guys are striking now. Now I can push back. No, you were supposed to do this a long time ago. Bernie Sanders was supposed to uh, put a hold on the bill in the Senate. But guess who did that? Joe Manchin did. To get the $15 bill out. Bernie Sanders didn't put a hold on it to get the $15 bill in. He didn't do anything. And guess who else didn't do anything? The squad, the Justice Democrats and AOC. They did nothing. They could have demanded the $15 minimum wage be in that COVID relief bill because it was a must-pass bill and they could have withheld their vote and they didn't. And she's pretending like they weren't striking back then. They were! Here it is. Workers from Burger King, McDonald's, and Wendy's in more than a dozen cities are expected to participate in the latest nationwide fight for 15 strike. An eight-year effort. This has been going on for eight years. Fast food workers across the United States will renew demands for a nationwide $15 minimum wage and union rights, as well as better protections from the coronavirus. So they were asking AOC then in February to make sure the $15 minimum wage was in that coronavirus bill. And she said, go pound sand. And all Bernie Sanders did, too. And all the Justice Democrats said, go F yourself. You're on your own. Joe Biden ran on the $15 minimum wage. Why do we have to have pressure outside? And by the way, it's always been there. She's acting like this is new. There's always been pressure outside. Joe Biden ran on the $15 minimum wage. So why didn't you put it in the COVID relief bill? And it's not happening now. Two-thirds of Americans favor raising the federal. But what the hell? You, you need to see more, more people in the streets. That's what you need to see? You need to get more than two-thirds out of in the United States on board with your $15 minimum wage hike, AOC. You need to get more than two-thirds of the American people on board this policy? Bernie Sanders tweeted this out. If McDonald's can afford to pay its CEO over $10 million in compensation and spend billions on stock buybacks to award its wealthy shareholders and executives, you know what? It can afford to pay all of its workers at least $15 an hour. I'm proud to support the worker. Why didn't you support the workers during the COVID bill, Bernie? Why didn't you put a hold on that bill like Joe Manchin did? Why didn't you put a hold on that bill and make sure that they got the $15 minimum wage in there? Because this is all just fucking lip service. That's all just all this is. There was a chance when you could have got people and now people and people are cheering them on as if Bernie and AOC are actually doing something. They're doing nothing. They're doing nothing. They're doing less than nothing because they're gaslighting in you into thinking they are. They're in, they're gaslighting you into thinking that when they had the leverage to make sure you got it that they couldn't do it. And by the way, uh, forget it. Here, the minimum wage in Denmark is twenty-two dollars an hour. You know what a you know what a Big Mac costs in Denmark? Five bucks ninety-three cents. You know what it costs in the United States? Five bucks sixty-six cents. They have a twenty-two dollar an hour wage at McDonald's in Denmark. You know how much a burger costs there? Five ninety-three. United States five sixty-six. Our wage is seven dollars seventy-five cents. What did they pay a McDonald's worker? Eleven dollars, maybe. Maybe eleven dollars. I'm gonna. I've got them against their entry level pay is seven seventy five. So this idea that if you give people a living wage to a comp- corporation that makes billions of dollars in profits, that somehow they'll have to raise the prices of their their product and nobody will be able to afford it is, but that's just bullshit. That's not economics. Australia has a $12. No, I I bet it's actually more than that. I don't think that's right. Australia, I think, has a $20 an hour minimum wage. So I think that must be old data. That must be old data. 
Uh, by the way, and the fat, uh, Fight for 15 tweeted this out. They go, fast food workers in the Fight for 15 are on strike and are joined by Senator Bernie Sanders and AOC to talk about the need for McDonald's to provide a 15-hour floor for every one of their stores and organizing. So I guess it's nice that AOC and Bernie are lending their voice to this strike. It would be nice if they actually used the power they have to fight for it because this is all virtue signaling. This is to keep you uh, fooled that the Democratic Party and some people inside them are fighting for you. That is not the case. Ron, what, anything to say? I'm actually thrilled that that video exists, though, because, you know, whether it was intentional or unintentional, she completely told you how politics works. And in the future, when, you know, people are saying now's not the time, now's not the time about whatever issue it may be, but be it Medicare for all again or living wages or anything else, you can point to this video once again and say, no, this is how politics works. And at one point in that video, she says that we're all on the same team. And whether you like AOC or not or any other politician is irrelevant. We're not on the same team. We're not on the same team. We're just not. Saying that a politician is on your team, that's like thinking the person selling you a car is on your team <laughs> and, and, and just like handing them a credit card and being like, you're on my team. So you have my best interest at heart. Take it. You, you wouldn't do that. That's not how the world works. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with selling cars in this analogy, but you wouldn't do that. You would look out for your best interest. Politics is kind of similar in that regard. They're not going to do anything for you. They're not your friends. A politician is at best one tool in the toolkit for change. And that's at best. At worst, they're a roadblock for all of that. So I don't want to be any politician's friend now or ever. You know what I want to be, especially for someone that would hopefully go for policies I'm for? I want to be their excuse. And what do I mean by that? I want to be the person, not me as an individual, but we the people. I want to be the person where they have to say, hey, I'm sorry, I can't do X, Y, Z, because if I do X, Y, Z, my base is going to go bye bye and they are not going to tolerate it. I'm sorry, mama bear, but I can't give you A and B unless you give me C, D and E because my base is out there and they're protesting and they're not going to take it anymore. They're not going to coddle me. No one's coddling me and they have had it. See this? This is it. See this? This is them. What does that mean? They're over it. They are fucking over it. And you know what? That's what needs to happen. That's what always has happened. Whenever there's been change in this country, that's how it happened. They look out, they see people who are over it. And, and you don't need politicians to be your friend. You want to be their excuse. And, and, and unfollow them on Twitter, by the way. I, I know it's like, oh, Ron, that's just petty. Like, no, it isn't. Because if every politician in this country, again, I don't give a shit who it is. I don't give a shit if you like them or not. Unfucking follow them. You'll see. You'll still see their stupid tweets anyway. If all of them have zero fucking followers, that would send a message to the world that the American people are fed up with this bullshit corporate coup and this grandstanding fucking nonsense, which is what she's shoved down our throats every fucking day. And I'm over it. Well said, Ron. I share your sentiment. I want to. I just want to play uh, the grandstanding bullshit one more time. For it, it is because you are out there mobilizing that we can point to that organizing and say this is how bad the people want it. This is what they are, in fact, demanding. And because you are doing the work that we can point to, it allows us to create the political pressure necessary to keep pushing. Because you all are organizing, they can't ignore it. Because you all are organizing on the outside, they can't ignore us on the inside. So keep doing it. Keep pushing. Well, you know, I had 150,000 people show up to a town hall. You had no trouble ignoring that. 150,000 people showed up to a town hall. You had no trouble ignoring that. So this is all claptrap, but I understand what you're saying. Your point is, Ron, that the next time there is a... You just point, hey, you guys are supposed to go push now for this because we're organized. Yeah. 
But that's not how it works. You know that. This is all lip service. There's not one sincere thing she's saying here. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Right. Her sincerity does not matter one way or another. It, right. It's completely irrelevant. Her and any other elected <laughs> official, it's completely irrelevant. I mean, if the people are, are so freaking loud that they cannot be ignored or denied, and that's not going to happen if you continue to coddle the system, then, yeah, I mean, change has to happen. That's how it happened the last time. That's how we got a new deal. We didn't get a new deal because FDR felt like it. I know, I know. We got a new deal because he knew he didn't have a fucking choice. So your your recommendation would be to people to uh, keep doing things like this and stop coddling politicians, right? Hell yeah. General strike. Okay. Uh, wouldn't it be amazing if she used her 13 million Twitter followers for something? Yeah, and you know what would be more amazing? If 13 million people unfollowed her and yeah. everyone else while they're at it. Politicians, yeah. not everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, it, it, did, did she tweet out to her people to go uh, to start a strike or stay on strike or to be on? It would be great. It would be great if she used her 13 million Twitter followers to, for a protest. Hey, everybody show up here. We're going to demand this. We're going to go. It would be great. That would be fantastic. But they're not. And I can't tell you for sure if she did or not, Jimmy, because I don't follow her. At a boy, Ron. <laughs> I don't follow any of them. At a boy. Well, they're out there virtue signaling like crazy. They're not going to, but they certainly won't use their power or their leverage. Bernie will never put a hold on a bill to help you. That's not happen. Joe Manchin will do it. Ryan, Rand Paul will do it. Everybody else will do it at the drop of a hat. Bernie will not put a hold on a bill unless Joe Biden gives him permission. Uh, and the same thing with AOC. She will not vote as a block. The Justice Democrats will not vote as a block to help you. That's not happening. And, uh, uh, I, I say it's never going to happen. I'll believe it when I see it. So right now, they could have gotten you the $15 minimum wage about two months ago. They could have gotten you the $15 minimum wage before they passed the COVID relief bill. All Bernie had to do was put a hold on the bill. All AOC had to do was vote as a block with four other people. They, they That's all it would take. So this idea that we got to get people from coast to coast doing a strike, which we've been having for eight years. And it's like it's something new. It's all bullshit. Uh, so this is just a virtue signaling video and, uh, yeah, we need to, I don't, I, w I didn't go to McDonald's today. I, I'll, I would, I wish they would strike for a whole week. Anyway, yeah, I, I do love when, uh, when there's like a call to action and it involves me not having to alter my daily life in any way whatsoever, <laughs> you know, like, like don't eat at McDonald's. Like, all right, I got you covered. I've been, I've been protesting for yeah. years. Didn't yeah. even know it. I just, you know. Now, if they say no pasta, then you're going to have to have the revolution without me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, luckily, we're not. <laughs> luckily, they're not. It. Luckily, they're not saying that. Hey, everybody. This is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are. But there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content. But nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video. <laughs> 